hey, do you want to have fast speed? Do you want to move better on court to have a fast, explosive footwork? I think the answer is yes. So let's go through five tips on how to achieve that. So tip number one, that is to have low gravity in your legs, to work on low gravity on court. And what that means, that means is that when we have low gravity, we activate our muscles much, much better. If you stand with stiff legs, it's very tricky for you to activate your muscles, your thighs, and it will be tricky for you to move around with these explosive, very fast movements on court. So that's tip number one to have a low center of gravity. When we have a low center of gravity, like I'm having here, it's much easier for me to have balance in my legs. It's much easier for me to move away with explosive movements around court. Of course, there is also a limit for this because if you go too far down, it will be very, very hard for me to move and my muscle be, will be overstressed. So you need to find your balance in between where it's comfortable for you to move around. So tip number two, that is to have space between your legs. So when you're in the center position, when you're out in the corners to the sides, Wherever you're moving on court, try to remember to have the space between the legs. It's of course also easier for you to be in a low gravity. In this position, it's very tricky to go low and it's also very tricky to move to the corners if I am, I'm so narrow in my legs like this. So when I have the space in my legs, it's easier for me to move around court. It's easier for me to cover the full court without uh, having to move all the way to the corner it's because I can just stretch for it with space between my legs, go down, space between my legs, and move to the next corner. If it were the other way around, with very narrow legs, I can't reach that far with my legs, it's like this. And it's not natural for me to be in this position. I don't have that good of a balance. I'm not strong in my muscles in this position. But here, I have a good balance. I'm very strong in my legs. I can push away to the corners. So that is tip number two, to have space between your legs in all your moves around the center position and in all the corners on court. And the third tip, that is to stay on your toes. If you work around court with the footwork um, on your heels, it's very tricky. You can see here, I don't have that good of a balance. I don't have that much um, quick moves, quick reactions. I can't be explosive if I stand on my heels, right? So I really need to be a little bit up on my toes, not all the way up, that is also unnatural. I can push away to the floor when I'm all the way up on my toes. So just a little bit, get the heels just a little bit away from the, away from the floor so you are ready uh, with good power in your feet to push away from the center position or in your landings in, in some of the corners on court. And tip number four, this is a tricky one because my suggestion here is that you have to focus on your landings in the corner. So if you land the wrong way, you won't be able to push away from the corner to be fast, to get fast towards the middle, maybe too fast towards the net or back from the net. And this is, I know this is very general just to say you have to land correctly, but you really need to nurture those details in the corners, scissor jump, china jump, China jump to the sides, the, the defense lunges to the net, the 
attacking jumps to the net, all these areas you need to land correctly. And a few tips on that is, like we say in this video, with the low gravity, space between the legs, a little bit up on the toes. And if you master this, you will uh, be in a, in a better position on landing correctly. Of course, there is a lot of different small technical aspects uh, about how to land in all this, uh, these footwork exercises, these footwork moves on court. You'll have to uh, go into some of our other videos to try to uh, see um, all the small details about how you land in the scissor jump with, with the weight balance and the legs and all these things. But in general, tip number four, it's a good thing to land correctly in the corners if you want to have fast feet. And tip number five, the last one here, that is you need to master being very relaxed in your body and have the ability to be explosive. Just suddenly do these explosive moves, of course, in your legs, in your core, your back, the abs, or you just, just suddenly move to the corners. So let's say that you have been down to the around the head side you move towards the center position again with low gravity, space between the legs, a little bit up on your toes. And when you reach the center position, a new shuttle maybe comes to the net or to the other side. You need to be able to push away from the center position. And you can only push away with explosive moves if you are relaxed and then tightened up. If you are tightened up at all places, it's very, very tricky for you to be fast to add those explosive moves. An example is also that if you want to jump vertically very high up in the air, maybe for the jump smash, if you go down your legs, but you tighten up your legs, it's very tricky for you to jump upwards if you are tightened. But if you go down, relax, and then you push up, you will have more power. The same goes for the footwork around court. Be relaxed and then tighten up. Be explosive when you want to move to the shot. And uh, hopefully this will also leave you in a better position to make better strokes and maybe win us. So that was five different tips about having fast feet to get a fast footwork, to be very, very quick on court, to be explosive on court, to cover the full court with good balance, to land correctly, all these things we have been talking about. I personally really, really hope you get my point on, on view on this and maybe try it yourself. Try to add it to your game. Train it a lot to activate your muscles, make them stronger so you can do it in a full match. Because of course, when you go down or when you add all these movements, you will be more tired. You'll need to get strong legs in order for you to move around in a full match, right? So. Thanks a lot once again for watching this um, footwork tutorial here on our channel. And keep watching, keep uh, hitting those uh, comments in. I will answer them as soon as possible. And follow on our channel, subscribe and hit the bell button. You will get our future content. We have a lot of great things coming for you guys very, very soon. Have a great day. See you.